Welcome back everybody to Jim Mopar 4. Once again, I'm standing behind another new car on a new project right here. This is a 2007 Kia Optima. I picked up this purchase for actually quite reasonable price right here. What you're looking at is actually on the good side. I'm going to show you how bad we really have to deal with right here. So as you can see on this side, it's not as pretty on here. You have a actual broken headlight. The fender has actually been damaged. It goes long. We have the A-frame. Chrome piece is missing. And as you can go along, we have the missing back clip, I want to call that. And on the very, very back of it, I will show you that there's a broken headlight. Now what happened was the gentleman, who I understand, actually had went off-road and actually went through a bob wire fence. So unfortunately, damaged everything on the side of the here. What we're going to fix today, we're going to start off with just get some tail lights and the headlights to actually work. Now the tail light is actually one of the easiest things to actually remove on any vehicle, really. Some of them requires up to three bolts and this one here actually has four bolts on the very back of it. Then all you have to do is remove the cover, remove the four tail memory bolts, lightly tap it out, and just repeat the process backwards. At this time, this would be a really good time to actually check out your bulbs and everything else. Well, this one right here, it actually got melted really bad right there. So the only way you could actually get that out of there is I'm going to have to destroy it. And I had to actually break the whole tail light off of it. Which ain't bad because the only thing you really need off the whole thing is actually is what the code is. And which is always on the sides of every one of those. Just go to your local automotive store and we'll just get a brand new one. So as you can see with the brand new one right here that we have sitting right here, everything is completely really good. And the whole tail light is actually really great shape. Now to say in a brand spanking new one, I actually got it from a local pull apart parts, which saved me a lot of money actually. So sometimes just going to your local junkyard, you'd be surprised what you can find. So now the only thing we have to actually do is actually just just reverse the steps that we have to do on here. I've already started some of the bolts. And all we got to do is just kind of go in a, in a crisscross pattern. Make sure it's actually really tight on here. So you actually can make sure it is snug and tight. Because when I went to remove it, it was not even snugged in there at all. So... Surprisingly, the water never got behind it or anything like that, so. For your tail light right here, since I had to get a brand new bulb for it, it's actually going to be 2375. That's the bulb size that you're going to need for your tail light so you can get it properly installed. So as you can see, this one is completely broken and everything. So the water is all getting down inside. All kinds of fragments all inside of this whole thing. I do got a brand new one. Well, technically used one right here. Even though it's got a little bit of damage on it. Already starting to show some wear and tear to it. Decoloration. We'll see if we can get that more buffed up on a later video. 
But for now, let's go ahead and at least get that new part fixed on here. On this headlight, is actually quite easy. Since it's kind of hard to actually show you everything right behind the whole thing, I want to show you exactly what three bolts you'll have. On this side, you'll have two bolts, which will be located about right here and also right here. These all take 10 millimeter bolts. There's also one on the very top of the frame, which will be located around the very top. When you actually remove the headlight, it's actually quite simple. Grab underneath of it, lift it straight up, and it should just pull straight out. That's all I think we got to do now is just reverse the steps of what we had to do. Press in a few clips, slide it back into place. And then just put the bolts back in. You're completely done. So let's see of how well these are actually working now. So this is the tutorial about how to replace the headlight and the taillight on the Kia. Optima on the 07 If you like it, please hit the subscribe button hit the notification So you can check out what else is we have more to come to this video We have a lot more stuff than we need to repair on this stuff. So definitely stay tuned on this As they say definitely have a safe ride or have a safe drive and Have a wonderful day